Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a great medium-sized rear living travel trailer from Jayco. This is the 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX Model 264 265 RLS. We are taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're giving you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a Jayco J Flight, one of my favorite entry level travel trailers. But before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everyone. How's it going? It's going good, you guys. This is our last day here in Wixom, Michigan. It might be our last unit as well. Yes, uh, we have done amazing things here and we are excited to bring you our new content, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New content, but sticking with the old content. We're staying the same, don't worry. <laughs> uh, and, you know, we, we just want to get these J-Codes because we don't sell them down south. Exactly. So let's begin. Model is 265 RLS, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length of this travel trailer is 30 feet 11 inches. The dry weight on it is 6,336 pounds. And Andrea, the vertical, the, the tongue weight is? 685 pounds. Awesome. Always remember, when you're towing, you want to use weight distribution bars. Right up here, we have a nice power tongue jack. I love that. Now, the J-Flight SLX is not like the J-Flight. They are two different brands. That's a J-Flight, it's a J-Flight SLX. This is made to be a little bit more narrow and a little bit lighter, um, but not sacrificing a lot of the amenities on it. You know, this trailer's pretty big, and for it being as light as it is, it's nice. Now, this is an aluminum corrugated side with wood framing. I like the nice black diamond plate. Oh, I don't like that spider. <laughs> and yeah. Right here, look at this. We got this nice passenger storage. When you lift off the bed, it does go all the way through. Manual stabilizing jacks. You just take a core of the shield. Zoom, 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 zoom. And then you're camping. And then look at this. G20 tinted windows. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's good for UV protection. But because this is a Jayco, you do have the two-year warranty, three-year structural, and I love this. You have two doors. This one goes to the bedroom, and that one goes to the living area. Check this out. Dexter axles right there. Good to your tires, Andrea. Let's look at them. There it is. ST205-75 R14. Okay. Right here, your potable water fill. You have power and coax if you want a TV on the outside. And then, Andrea, check that out. We have a nice big power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Wow, I love that, love, love, love that. Nice power awning with LED lights. Even though this is an entry level travel trailer, I love the solid set. These are awesome, they're firm, they're sturdy. I love that. Here's what's great. I love these stickers here. So uh, Jayco, they have a, a one key alike system, which means nobody's gonna have the key to your RV, okay? Uh, right there you do have the, uh, it's new, the J Smart exclusive patent pending that's giving you sensors all around your RV. And up here, as you can see, Jayco's just flexing on them, Andrea. Yes. Jayco's flexing. They, if you don't know, they wanna let you know that they've been the number one selling travel trailer since 05. Wow. <laughs> flexing. <laughs> And then this awning, it does have this, uh, I totally blanked it out. It's a pinch. Yeah, yeah, the pinch awning, so you can get it from one side or the other. Uh, it's pretty windy, so let me pause and get this awning in. All right. Coming around the back, Andre, we have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Oh my God, they're flexing again. In case you <laughs> forgot, they're the number one since 05. I love that spare tire right here. 30 amp power cord. I think I like this because you're able to, well, no, it's not like a gas tank, but still, I like that it's in the rear. Good spot. 
uh, backup camera prep right there, the Furion brand, and you have a uh, one-piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. I think that's only prepped for it. Yeah, prepped yeah. for it. That's what I said, right? Hold on, Matt. It's really okay. windy. Here we go. All right, up here you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof very simple very plain right there you have your ac unit right up there and then it is prepped for solar up there all right hold on there we go now take your time one more step great and if you haven't already make sure you smash that thumbs up button what are every salesman's going to travel up to Michigan to show you the number one sign travel trailer and get his fat ass <laughs> up on the roof? Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Here's where you hook up your cable and TV. Satellite. Yes. I like that we're doing travel trailers again. They're not as long as motorhomes. Over here. Oh, my God. Look. Storage, storage right storage. there. Wow, storage. Wow, you never see that on a travel trailer. You have your black and gray tank, tank dumps right there. Black tank flush, city water connection, outdoor shower and water heater all right there. And then here's the other side of that storage. Wow. Well, Andrea, the outside of J Flight looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. You, you pause there and hesitate for a second to skip. I know, I was like, oh no, somebody's driving by, maybe I shouldn't skip. Also, forgot to mention, there is um, speakers in the awning. Okay. Haven't been in a Jayco fl J flight in a while. Yeah. Wow. That's such a It's way different. Okay. Interesting. Bathroom here, walk through, and then there's the master bedroom. Yes. Inside the Jayco J Flight 265 RLS, rear living room space, okay? Look at these great big windows. I love that. And then check this out. You have two recliner rocker chairs. Oh. Very nice, very fancy. You got a little tabletop right up there. I can't tell you how much I love that big window. Got cabinetry. You sure do. Okay. Cabinetry above. Very nice with the glass backers. Okay. Let me see, we got little mini blinds. No, nothing little about it, it's big. Okay. Big for privacy. For privacy. And then don't worry, we have another sofa right here. This is a tri-fold sofa. And Andrea. Yes. This is like a cloth, right? Oh. It's a Stacy Stewart interior design. Very nice. Good job, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> she did a good job. All right. right up there. Nice window, not the frameless windows, but it's okay because they slide open. And I wouldn't call this the farmhouse look. No. But it's kind of like half farmhouse with this uh, white light walls right there. Over here, the dinette, I love it. Nice, big style dinette. Oh. That does drop down to make a bed. Does drop down to make a bed. You got the window right there. You know, the main point of this travel trailer is trying to keep the price down. And so, but but it still looks good. That's why they there is storage one. underneath the dinettes on both sides. Right there. And then here, look at that. It's prepped for TV. Again, trying to keep the price point down. That's why they don't put the TV there. Uh, and we got storage above. We got cabinets under there, Matt. Yes, ma'am. And as you can see, it does come with a DVD, CD player, sound system, RV technology, and everything. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this Jayco J flight is. $31,436 MSRP. Sale price, since it is current model year, we cannot advertise a sale price, but I know we can get you a sale price of a lot less than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my cell number, but that's not gonna help you. 
You're really going to want to call General RV up here in Wixom, Michigan because they're the ones that sell it. We don't sell it down in Florida. Or you can send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or check out the website mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page. And listen, if you're seriously interested in this, when you talk to someone at General RV, you have to make sure that they give you the mat money, which will be some sort of coupon or discount code or something to get an additional savings. And that way I'm going to be involved in the deal to help you get what, Andrea? The best price. Burr, 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 burr. Nice. Do you want to get your glasses right yes, there? Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's continue the video. Okay, here we go with the kitchen, everybody. Check it out. Got nice cabinetry here. Lots of room. Uh-huh. I really like that there's a window. To me, it's a really big deal in a kitchen. Yep, All I concur. All that extra light. Got a double sink here. Uh-huh. And we got two drawers. Yep. Also, there's something right here, just a little bit more nook and storage. Got a big drawer, big drawer, big cabinet under here. Door, drawer, drawer. I tell you, Matt, we are really hey, out we're, of it today. Hey, you guys want to know what's hard? <laughs> Making about 35 videos in a row. Yes, yeah. in, in a few days time. But hey, by the way, I do this all the time. I want to congratulate Andrea for being a great supporting wife and even better, a supporting teammate to Matt's RV Reviews and General RV. Andrea, you've been kicking ass this week and taking names. Thank you, babe. And you did awesome. You did awesome too. Well, that's a given. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have the microwave here. Uh huh. And we got a three burner cooktop with yes. the glass cover, Furion. Yes. Of course, you're going to get an oven. Right there. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And we have the two way fridge. Yep. Ugh. Right here. Oh, gosh. See, I can't even open a refrigerator. Two way fridge. Propane and shore power. Yes. And if you guys notice right there, um, that there is a heat duct not in the floor, but in the side. I like the pantry. Look at that. Nice pantry. Nice, big, and spacious and everything. All right. Let's check out what's going on in here. Now, this is weird. The, mm. the center bathroom. I'm not a huge fan of the walk-through bathroom to get to the bedroom. But I am at least happy that there is a door to the bedroom. You know, pretty nice. You have your uh, sink right there. This is a really good-sized radius shower. But you guys know You're not I don't a fan. like radius showers. But... Out of all the radius showers, this one is the biggest I've seen. Okay. Got a cabinet under here. Uh -huh. Underneath the sink. Okay. Wow. Big cabinet. Oh, let me right see here. that. Big. Oh, wow. Big, That's big, great big. for linens. Yep. Okay, look, and they gave you more. Wow. Yep. It's now time for a toilet test. It looks plastic. Plastic. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> um. It sucks because it's comfortable and it's in good position. It does not get the four piece, but don't worry. Uh, if you buy from General RV, you can always upgrade your toilet. Actually, if you buy from anybody, you can upgrade the toilet. Make sure you buy from GRV. <laughs> <laughs> and then finishing up with the master bedroom. Pocket door. Yes. Fully walkable, fully walk around bed. Serta mattress. Very nice. You got storage over there. You know what? That's interesting that they put shelves in there. And then look at this. You got... Uh, storage up there and storage beside with plugs if you do want to charge your phone or have a CPAP machine or whatever. I like that they gave you the nightstand there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this one doesn't have shelves, so that's good. At least you can oh. hang stuff over here. Oh, okay, nice. And then you do have prep for a TV up there. Okay. And then let's see, I believe there is storage under the bed. Oh, wow. Is there? Sure oh is. my goodness, that's right, from the outside. Big storage. Wow. Big, big, big storage under the bed. And I love that there's a door there. Yeah. Well, Andrea, this is a great travel trailer at a great price. And I see why it's been America's number one signed travel trailer for 10 years or for uh, 15 years now, or maybe even 16 years now in a row since 05. But as great as it is, and as nice as it is, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first. You ready? Yep. I do not like this living area. Mm, I, I agree. Well, do you know why? No, I Because the TV's all yeah, the way down Yeah, I mean, there. it is kind of strange. The whole point of where we're living is to have a good view for the TV. Right, I kind of wish, and I don't know, I don't have a solution, but I kind of wish like the entertainment center was over here somewhere. 
somehow, but it's all good, you know? I hey, have number two. Tell me number two. <laughs> I am not a fan of carpets. Uh-oh, uh, womp, womp, womp. So, Carpet. hopefully, you know, you never know you guys in the future. Maybe we will see vinyl one day or whatever. Well, I don't think we'll see it in this product, Andrea, because again, at the end of the day, I'm not mad at that because this unit is about price point. Very true, okay. yes. And it's not a deal breaker. It's yep. just a dislike. Yep, okay, so that's two. And then three. I'm disappointed with the bathroom, right? I don't like the walkthrough bathroom to get to the bedroom, but I can live with it because there's a door. I don't like the radius shower, but I could live with it because it's a big radius shower. I don't like the plastic toilet, but I could live with it because it's entry level. But to have all three at one time, <laughs> you just got on the dislike list. <laughs> but again, we can always upgrade the toilet and it just is what it is. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Oh, Andrea, put your hand down. You can go first. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what I really like, you guys, I you don't hear me comment a lot, but I actually do like this wall, Matt. When you pointed this out, I do like that that's different. I also like, if you can see the wallpaper here, uh -huh. how it's different. It's good colors in here. Exactly, I do like that. Well, Andrea. It is Stacy Stewart interior design. Go slow, go slow with the camera. Stacy Stewart, Stacy Stewart did a great job. Okay, so that's one like. Two, I must say, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I actually like the floor in here, can I say that? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say the floor and I'm gonna combo it with this sofa. I don't know if, it, is this like a microfiber? I wouldn't, or whatever? I don't know, it feels like it. It it's feels very like comfortable. microfiber. It, I, I haven't felt this material in a travel trailer or an RV in a long time. I do like it. It feels good and nice and... It's comfortable. It's comfy. Yeah, yeah. it's very comfy. And it's a trifold, and I am a fan of the trifolds. So that's two. And then three, it's going to be outside. Even though this is an entry level travel trailer, Jayco's entry level, and they need to make this as price affordable as possible. I love how they gave you the more ride solid steps. I love how they still gave you Goodyear tires. I love how they still gave you the one Kia like system so nobody else has a key to your RV. And I just love the look and design of the Jayco J Flight. They did not cut corners. They did not cut corners on the quality. Which exactly. Is nice. But that's it, Andre. That's the review. Thank you, everybody, so much for coming with us to Wixom, Michigan. Andre, do you know what general RV location we'll be visiting next? No. Well, if you guys join Club Art Deco on Facebook, bing, that's our uh, Facebook club to connect with me and Andrea. You will be the first to know what location we go to next. And hey, maybe we'll meet you there at the store or something. And also, you guys can actually leave us comments on there on what you'd like us to review. Exactly. If you guys have any questions about the Jayco J Flight, feel free to give me a call. Call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301 906 0962. That's myself. Or go to the website, Matt's RV Reviews.com, where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Jayco's going to be reading the comments. I'm excited as we are just now starting to review Jayco's. So make sure you guys leave us that feedback. Um, I wanted to let you guys know, if you guys do give Matt a call or you do go to the general website because you want information about this, make sure that you tell them you did see it on Matt's RV Review so we can yes. get you some Matt money. Yeah, Matt money. Burr, 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 burr. That's right. And we're doing something where um, on pickup day, if you take a picture of your Matt money, uh, Andre and I, we will send you stickers, a thank you card, and a keychain. Absolutely. Burr, 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 burr. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks so much. Watching. Andrea. We'll see, see you, you next time. time.